Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we want to learn how to create blend and solid blend. Sorry. Today we want to learn how to create blend and sweep swept blend. So we go to components, model in place, casework. So this is where we can get uh, various forms of creating solid objects like extrusion, blend, revolve, sweep, swept blend. We still want to focus on Blend and swept blend. So for the blend, let's create or click on blend. It's, we are prompted to edit the bottom. So for the bottom, let's say I want a circle. Let's make this circle. Yeah, 5000. So next thing is to go to the, at the top. The top now, let's make it a uh, polygon. Yeah. Polygon. Let's make it this polygon. The solution height is also 3600 millimeters. So let's go to a 3D view and view that. So, as you can see, we have a different profile at the bottom and a different profile at the top. You can actually go back, you can you can go back and edit it. Edit either the top or the bottom. Let's edit the place. I should change that circle. Okay. So edit the top. Okay. Let's make this. Let's make this another circle. Make it interesting. Okay. So as you can see, this is like a truncated cone. So there are several ways to do this. You can go back and edit the top. Let's change that to something else. Let's make it a square. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, the top blends into the bottom. So everything becomes a whole shape. So that's for blend. So the next thing to do this take that out. Let's finish program. Okay. Let's say let's delete that. Let's say I want to create swept blend. Same process in place. Okay. okay. The principle of sweat blend is you are combining sweep and blend. You are still creating blends using two different uh, profile, but in this case you are adding the parts just like a sweep. The parts where these two profiles will sweep and blend into. So let's say go to this. Just like in our last video, you can either pick parts or sketch parts. For example, I want to create a circular ramp. Yeah, a curved drum. Let's see. Okay. Put on a level. Okay. Let's say I want to create curved ramp. Let's make this like this. Okay. All right. So I can click this and finish. Okay. Let's edit profile one. This is our profile one. So let's assume I want to create a ramp. Let's make a ramp like 200 mm thick. Okay. And three meter, 3.5 meter wide. Copy this. And copy this. Then say edit profile two. Let's place this here. Edit profile two. Let's 
just paste this here. Okay. okay. Move it a little bit up. Okay. So finish. So you see, I've created a blend of my circular room. You can go back and edit the path or the profile, whichever one that you want to edit. Let's see, I want to edit this. Okay, let's make this seven meters. Okay. Six, okay. As you can see, I've created my circular ramp. I have two different profiles. You can actually make the two profiles not the same. It doesn't matter them be the same, depending on what you want to get. Let's say I want this to be this profile two. Let's make it a circle. Yeah. Let's make it a circle for example. I don't even know what the shape is going to look like. Okay. As you can see, it's blending while it's passing through a path. As you can see, if it is something nice. Let's make this profile one with the same. Smaller circle. Okay. As you can see, I've created something very, very nice. I think this looks like a horn or so. You have a path and you have two different profiles that are blending through the path to blend into each other. So you can use this to create whatever with what you want to create, being creative with whatever you want to do. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.